Good evening, this is a spiritual reading and personal prophecy for Lucia. Uh, just some housekeeping before we start. Um, I spend time doing the prophecy, then I have to spend time processing the video, then I've got to spend time uh, compressing the video and spend time uploading the video. Uh, for every 10 minutes there's at least another 30 to 40 minutes work. Bearing that in mind, I ask that uh, you please take five minutes and give us a response via email of how this prophecy touched your life. Okay? Uh, so please honour me and give me some feedback on uh, whether this prophecy touched your life. Uh, when I first see you, I see um, a picture of uh, a Halloween carved out pumpkin uh, that you carve out a pumpkin and you put lights in it and uh, people uh, yeah, have them in Halloween and um, what I sense from that is that um, you're a different person uh, than, than inside than what the world sees in other words, uh, what the world sees, Lucia, is something for show. Now, there's many reasons why a person hides himself and isn't transparent. The world is full of people who don't show the world their true self. But the Lord God Almighty knows you. He knows who you are. He knows who you struggle. So, when you live a life of being yourself towards God, and then being different towards other people there's not a lot God can do with you you need to start to come out of your shell and start to be who you are in plain sight now uh, I used to be a person who said I've got no friends no one listens to me and uh, and I'm lonely and uh, that positive that confession of negative things over my life just worked it out, itself out in my true life and was true for my life uh, I did have people love me, so it wasn't tr true really. Uh, and then I started to confess something different over my life, and then my life started to manifest those changes. God wants you to start being real, to start to confess His Bible over yourself. Start to confess His promises over yourself. You're a child of God. You're a child of God. You're a princess. You're you're destined for the throne of God. You're destined into the kingdom of God as one of his daughters. Start to confess the positive things. There's so much hurt. There's so much pain in your life. There's so much troubled waters that have passed through your life. And God wants you to... Uh, there's a song, Always look on the bright side of life. God wants you to look on the bright side of life. To, to Yes, your life has been painful. Yes, you've had tragedy. Yes, no one should have to put up with your life. These things are all true. But he wants you to confess who you are in Christ. Confess the promises that are, are just as true for you as they are for other people. And start to believe them and start to confess them over your life. Now, it may seem crazy saying that uh, all things come to those who 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 uh, who desire them and uh, confessing all the promises of the Bible they seem may seem so untrue to you but the Lord wants you to confess them anyway because as through your it says in in scripture that uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue and whilst you might not know it you confess a lot of negative things over your life and may they, they may seem to be true they're just true because the enemy is allowing them to be true through your confessions so the Lord wants you to start to make positive confessions there's, uh, there's uh, books about this and there's more research you can do on this subject uh, about positive confessions and I encourage you to do it the Lord sees your heart uh, as as a person who's who's a giver, uh, you you're a person who uh, likes to give of themselves and and share uh, things with other people. Uh, you you you're the first to volunteer to help people. 
and you're the first to uh, give of yourself and give of your resources to help another person in need. But it seems that most people trample over you. People only come to you when they've got a need. And when you want a, a proper friendship and love and support, people seem to distance themselves from you. Um, the Lord loves this quality about you. And certainly the people that are helped uh, enjoy that quality, even if they don't thank you for that quality. He wanted to make mention that... Uh, all of these times you've helped, um, the parable comes to mind, what you do to the least of my brethren you do unto me. The Lord is very happy with this giving. The Lord is very happy with all the times that you've extended your hand in mercy to other people. It says in scripture, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Um, it says in Old Testament scripture that the Lord will have mercy on those he chooses to have mercy on. Uh, it says another time that the Lord will have mercy on those who have shown mercy. And uh, in, in the tough times that are coming to the world, you can be sure the Lord God Almighty will look after you. I look forward to your feedback.